Hello, welcome. This is Samuel Ramrosonen. In the previous video, we look at the Git, GitHub file folder and directory architecture, as you can see before you. What to take home from that video is that Git repository must be created on your local machine in a selected folder where you want to control the version of your work from. And once you have set up the Git repository, the, the, the status or the state of that folder will change. For example, the folder that does not contain the Git repository may not uh, be detected in case anything uh, is changed in that folder. Uh, whatever goes on in that folder without Git repositories will not be known by Git. But the folder that has got Git repositories will be able to track anything that happens with the file inside it. And Git give rise to the GitHub. GitHub is the remote uh, shared location in the cloud, in the internet somewhere, where by uh, Git repositories can be shared with others. You know, when you have your, uh, your, your documents, uh, your work, you can share the, repos the, the repositories that you have created locally with others in what is called GitHub. So you need to create GitHub repositories there in order to push your work from your local machine over the internet so that others can see. And uh, GitHub cannot work without Git. That is why I, you know, you saw, I put these arrows, this arrow represents the Git and that uh, that pipe there represent the help for central location of the data that you share with others using Git. So GitHub combined is the the remote uh, repositories shared by the outside world, and you can do that only by using Git. So that when you create uh, Git repositories, you push it there, and then others will be able to, to see what you've done. Uh, you can even give access to, to others to download, for others to download your work, your code, to view your codes, and also to follow you on the GitHub. So GitHub is a collaboration zone where you uh, link up with others, do work together, control your version, manage a project, work on the same project together and be able to learn from the team so when you're working as a team you can uh you need to clone what is in the github and then work on it and then push it back and then while you're pushing others can pull or fetch in order to view the updates uh, of the new version that you have pushed so that is how it works and once it is in your local machine, you can do the changes, you can do whatever you want, and then you push it back. So my friend, this is the architecture and the summary of what we have been talking about. This is the architecture of the Git, GitHub, and the storage system. So it is the advanced local, global, and dynamic file management uh, skills that you need to learn. I did not talk about the Dropbox, but I will definitely talk about it in the next video. So what to take home from this video is that everything begins with the ordinary file, ordinary file without anything. And this file has our data, everything. The data could be stationary, uh, we could be working on it, that is data in motion, or we could be trying, I mean, uh, we could be working on it, that is data being data in use, and then we could be saving it, transferring it, you know, moving, creating folders, and that is data in motion. So not that data can be uh, in the state of movement or in the state of stationary or station and can be in the state of being used. So each time when we use the data, the state of the data changes according to the binary bits or binary digits. And that change 
that change is the one that gives rise for get get to understand get to learn the version of our work so for get to do that we need to create what is called get repository in our system so when you change this file to a, a get repositories it will now be uh, monitored by the get so the status of the, the the file is changed now when you see get repositories now that means from here get will learn everything about the file whereas from here nothing is being learned because there's no repository set in our system so the state of our system is just there we don't know what is going on who has changed what who has made what we don't know at this state but then once we have the uh, git repositories change that file to a git repositories it's a git repo the local uh, repo in our computer from here my friend every single thing that we do with our file can now be detected we can see who has done what who has uh, what has been done with the file is the file moved to another location we can share that file now over the internet with others by using what is called github so github is a, a cloud platform and is full of folders don't be mistaken that maybe github is some other system there no it is the file system file system and that file system contains git program in it that git program allows allows us to control the version of the work being shared over the internet so not that git is a tracking system uh, for tracking everything that happens with our file whether it being local or global you know or international or somewhere in the internet so the shared file folder directories in the cloud or in the network they are the central control system in what i refer to as the hub and when you think of this hub think of it like the hub of the bicycle and the gate program are like the the, the the wires holding the spokes and we the users are like the, the spokes so each time when something is put in the hub you know by the manager by the project manager we the, the user the employees can now clone that from the internet clone from the github you know we can only clone after cloning it to our local system our local system must have the git repositories and then from there we can be able to modify you know the the, the, the data that we have cloned and then after cloning we can push it back you know to be merged with the previous version if it is fine if everybody agrees or if the project manager or the manager agrees with your work then your work can be pushed and merged with the previous version and create a new version and that's how git controls the version other workers will pull or fetch your work fetch the new version uh, if it has been accepted they fetch and they view it with their computer so that they have the current version that can stay current by pulling or fetching just to see the updates and then each of them maybe when they they detect some mistake they can also push another version that will be merged inside uh, our github remember inside github we have a prime folder that prime folder could be like a, a master could be like a global shared file or it could be like the main the main you know you can call it they call it branch so that branch you can have other branches as well but the main one has to be there so that after merging uh, the uh, the other branch with the main one the the, the rest of the branches which contain uh, minor minor things will be deleted so that we always have the main branch with up-to-date information that we need for our project so my friend this is the summary 
of the architecture of the file or the storage system of our data and the change of state after making our system to be a Git repository and then how to share our repositories with the GitHub, you know, you know, how to share it in the internet. So GitHub actually hosts our Git repositories so that we can be able to share it with others. And what is inside hosting our repos uh, repositories is full of file, full of file, nothing else. But that file must contain Git program because GitHub cannot exist without uh, Git, uh, Git repositories. And then Git itself cannot exist without file, you know, and the file must be there. File is the state of our system that we work on, that we create our documents on, and that contain everything that we want to work on. So everything begins from the files and everything ends at the file folder and the directory of the system. And everything is controlled by the state of the system, my friend. So take note of this. Uh, I hope this video has been informative. Remember, this is just a schematic uh, architecture of the Git, the GitHub, just to give us a conceptual and contextual understanding before actually doing uh, doing the Git and the GitHub. We are going to do it practically. We are going to download the Git and we are going to uh, to set up our GitHub and you know show how to, how how the file the version can be controlled and check how we can collaborate, how we can share our documents with others, and how we can uh, change files around and detect changes in our files so that we can see the detective mechanism, Git repositories, how it can allow us to control our version. So my friend, thank you for viewing. Uh, my name is once again Samuel Ambrose Onen. I like thinking objectively. That's why I created the mental image of Git, repositories, GitHub, the file, so that you know the link between them. That will allow you to understand how to manage a uh, file and to gain these skills so that you can be able to control the version of your file, share your file with others, back it up on the internet and secure it. So thank you for viewing. I'll see you in the next video.